Hi guys, we are going to look at how to enter revolved hand to foot pose today. So first and foremost, in this pose, it's very important to have open and long hamstrings. So your wide forward fold, uh, either coming forward, so chest down on the ground, or taking that twist as I'm demoing here, both are great and fantastic opportunities to kind of open up your inner thighs and your hamstrings. Half splits, Ardha Hanumanasana, is also a fantastic way to open your hamstrings one at a time, use blocks if you wish, and just focus on working with the breath here. So inhale, you're lengthening the chest, exhale, folding a little bit deeper. If you prefer to work two legs at a time, seated forward fold, Paschimottanasana, is a great way to do this. Feel free to start to bend the knees first, lower the chest down onto the thighs, and then gently work with your breath and extend forwards. Next pose, we've got pyramid pose. So it's a standing variation um, where you can lengthen one hamstring at a time here. Again, I'm focusing a lot around hamstring flexibility because if you're going to extend that foot forwards, of course, we can use a strap. But if you want to grab hold of your foot, you need to be able to have enough flexibility through your hamstrings in order to kick your foot forwards. So this is why I'm introducing a lot of hamstring um, lengthening postures to assist you along your journey. So revolved hand to foot can also be performed on your back, by the way. So um, this is a great way to practice this posture whilst lying on the back, because effectively everything is still happening. The only element you're removing is the element of balance. So why not do it on the ground first, laying on your back? So we're gonna start by bending that left knee forwards and backwards slightly. So you're just lengthening the hamstrings tiny bit at a time. And when you feel ready, draw the leg all the way over and across, and then reach the opposite arm. So in this case, your left hand and send the gaze over and across such a beautiful twist in this posture and I suggest using a strap holding the strap around the foot if you're unable to reach your big toe instantaneously so now incorporating exactly that in standing uh, standing balance you've got revolve to hand foot modification here just draw the knee in and then concentrate on lengthening that left hand all the way back suck that left knee all the way into the chest once you feel okay and your hamstrings are pretty long, use your right hand, grab the edge of the left foot, and then start to send the gaze back towards your left hand. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, my lovelies. Namaste.